Welcome to this week's episode of Now Loading. I'm Big Ant. I'm Biomonkey. And I'm Death Vanquished. There. See how nice it is to start an episode without somebody dying? I guess. I can feel the serenity. Don't you fucking shoot! Me? Dude, you're the one with the gun. So are you! Guys, guys, calm down. You're both holding guns. Bio's got a gun! <laughs> that was a close one. Gun! Back at the round table today, why Microsoft announced that they will not be attending the Tokyo Game Show or GamesCon. Wow, what a way to screw over your international partners, Microsoft. Let's be honest, after E3, I think Microsoft is in hiding. And you don't understand, Microsoft thinks that E3 was a huge success for them. Apparently, Microsoft has been inviting a few choice websites to a special event on June 18th. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, rumors suggest that they're going to reveal their own tablet. Oh, really? Seriously? A new device with exclusive features that will be available to iPad and Android owners in the next few years. It's happened before. Did I scare you? No. Damn it. All I wanted to do was scare the crap out of people. I don't know. When I'm playing co-op in Dead Space, it just doesn't feel as scary as it used to. But I wanted people to be scared with their friends. But wasn't that the exact opposite of what Dead Space was about in the first place? Yeah, um, Dead Space was all about being isolated on a massive ship surrounded by hundreds of necromorphs. Exactly, but in Dead Space 2, already ruined that feeling of isolation by putting you on a space station filled with millions. But... Wait a minute, did you even listen to the fans of Dead Space? What, what do you mean? Did you not hear all the complaints from the fans of Dead Space how Dead Space 2 did not have a nearly the same atmosphere as the first game, which made it less scary? They just don't understand my art. Scare you that time? Nope. Damn it. Time to shut down the Metal Gear Online servers. Really? Yep. You know, shouldn't we uh, release an update for the game to allow people to turn their PS3s into dedicated servers so that our fan base has a legit way of playing online? We could do that? Yeah, I don't think it would be really too hard, and we could please a lot of people. How much will it cost? I don't really know that, sir. Maybe a few grand or more? I'm not really an accountant. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. I was looking for zero. N nothing's free. Shutting off the servers it is! Explain to me why we released an online-only title just to shut it down just a few years later. Money! Wow, Pikmin 3 looks like a blast. I can't wait to try it out. I don't know. You know, I never really got into Pikmin. It's a lot of fun. 
Nintendo has stated that they are focusing a strong online component for Wii U, so I bet we could co-op the game. That was one of the best features for Pikmin 2. Yeah, I would try it out if I had someone to play with. Hey guys, what are you guys talking about? Pikmin 3. Gay. You know what, Ant? You can be an idiot sometimes. Whatever. Anyways, I think that it would be amazing to play Pikmin 3 online. It would make me consider getting a Wii U. You guys do know that they announced that Pikmin 3 will not have online multiplayer. What? Why? Yeah, they said that making Pikmin 3 work online would be, and I shit you not, this is the quote, it would be too difficult. <sighs> Nintendo, why you no work? This again dashes any hope for a Pokemon MMORPG on the Wii U. You teach me, I'll teach you. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Wow. That was gay.